indeed i fear we face a direct threat to our civilisation if we allow large numbers of people from that war torn region into europe in response to the illegal migration crisis the eu was strong armed into making drastic changes one of them was the foundation of the law enforcement agency clandestine watch meet sergeant francisco he manages the area we're about to enter at the agency headquarters in Turin, Italy. Behind that door is the most important and concealed department of the agency, the evidence unit. Sì, mi apri. Grazie. As he shows us around, he explains what the agency stands for. Just like the neighbourhood watch groups we see in action in our streets, it relies on a mixed network of officers and regular citizens cooperating to report suspicious objects, behaviours or individuals. It aims to prosecute any clandestine attempt to reach, access or move through the European Union. He agrees to let us inside one of the rooms where these items are stored. In this unit, all sorts of physical evidence allegedly connected to clandestine migration is stored. At our insistence, he agrees to tell us more about a recent investigation that has given the agency some headaches. L'indagine che stiamo seguendo si chiama Border Crossings. L'indagine parte dai nostri colleghi di Calais che, scommerando un campo di immigranti, poco fuori dalla città, hanno scoperto una serie di oggetti, tendenzialmente delle borse abbastanza grosse, a quadretti rosse e blu, e le hanno raccolte così, tanto per. Però, poi, andando ad analizzare questi oggetti, che inizialmente sembravano assolutamente innocui, abbiamo cominciato a collegare tutti i puntini e improvvisamente il quadro si è fatto più chiaro. E così, quegli stessi oggetti, abbiamo scoperto poter essere utilizzati per superare la frontiera senza essere scoperti. This is what he was talking about. The item he's holding is in fact a bag whose handles have been extended to create a soft ladder probably used to climb on lorries about to cross the English Channel. The second piece is instead a single strap bag. The zipper running all around it seals inside a pretty peculiar device. It appears to be a collapsible cylinder obtained from a series of thermal blankets joined together. The property of such material must have been exploited to shield radiation emitted by police thermal imaging cameras to render the inside of trucks. Sergeant Francisco attempts to give us a demonstration of how it works, even though the original owner must have been way smaller than him. Allora, sapete bene che lo scanner termico rischia sempre di prendere. These impressing images have been taken near the island of Lampedusa, sadly known for the migrant boat sinking near its shores. What he shows us is called Nasa, a traditional hand-woven fishing trap, popular between Mediterranean fish trawlers. The structure has been altered by removing some parts and adding an inflatable bladder, obtained from a clear plastic bag. Given the use of old fishing boats as clandestine vessels, he explains it could have been created as a flotation device, addressing the lack of life vests on sea journeys. The last item comes from one of the agency's external offices in Niger, Africa. This is the truck it was found on, transporting illegals through the Sahara Desert. Printed on it is a decreasing amount of CFA, Central African francs, a local currency, and a series of cities, checkpoints on the route to the Spanish enclave of Ceuta. Bakshish in Persian means gift. The bag obtained from bulk rice sacks was in fact filled with personal items to be offered as bribes in exchange for permission to continue the journey up north. Rolled up and fastened with ratchets, it was also used as a makeshift seat. Every aisle, every shelf, every envelope, each tells a different crime story. And this is just another day on the job for Sergeant Francisco, watching over each one of those clandestine stories. Olivia Thompson, reporting Central London News.